welcome to the last week of October. Uh, if you were able to last week, we did have the trade ideas, open house, which was awesome for those that were able to get in and see what trade ideas is about. As their big thing, they like to advertise Holly the AI, which is up 30% versus the S&P, which I believe, you know, up maybe 15%. Um, so definitely check it out if you haven't already. And for those, I believe there is a discount code coming up for Halloween as well for up to 20% off. So definitely check that out. Also this week did go ahead and lock in the Hilton Bonnet Creek for Women in Trading Seminar for next June 23rd. I have had people asking me to register already. I don't have the registration open as of yet. I believe I'm gonna open it up around the first of the year um, as it will be about six months out at that point in time and I'll also release the lineup of who's going to be speaking right now I tentatively have five speakers set up uh, all successful traders you know different styles completely some that do futures some that do options some that do trading regular securities some that also trade Forex so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that I will also have a discount code for hotels coming up uh, once everything is finalized with the Hilton as far as details of all the rooms and everything like that. So if you are planning on coming, please just shoot me an email at carpeprofit at gmail.com because I want to make sure I do have enough rooms available for everybody. And just let me know if you think that it's going to be on your agenda for next year, June 23rd. I'm really excited about it. Um, you know, everything happens slowly but surely. My, my present situation didn't happen overnight. I started back in February of 2015 with Timothy Sykes Challenge, Millionaire Challenge, and lost 6K right up front because I didn't put in the time, I didn't study, I didn't follow the rules. And then I came back to it in September of 2015, and slowly but surely, by January of 2016, was profitable consistently. You know, 70% of the time I was banking on all my trades. And the big thing is keep those losers small. You know, you can lose. It will happen. You're going to get into a trade. It's going to go against you. Just make sure to cut it quickly. Don't let it grow to where it knocks out your entire account. That's what will go ahead and take you out of trading altogether. And it'll, it'll psychologically really beat you down. So try to stay positive with yourself. Every trade is a learning experience. You know, chart where you entered, where you exited, make sure that you journal as well to study your emotions in the trades because it's really you in the market. There's nobody else to compete against except for yourself and you want to make yourself better every single day. If you haven't already, check out Wolves of Wall Street. I'll put his, uh, his link down below for his YouTube channel. Very, very positive, approaching a million in profits. He and I roughly start at the same time and Granted, he didn't go through the birth and the emotions and everything like that, so he's definitely well ahead of me. And he's an amazing guy, very inspirational. You know, I also look at him to inspire me because he's just very, very positive, very faith-oriented as well, and is driven to get better every single day. And that's what it's going to take in your journey and in your trading just try to be better than you were yesterday. Don't compete against anyone else. You can see that people have succeeded. It does take studying, it does take hard work, and definitely it is possible. However, there's no shortcut. You have to learn the information. You have to learn yourself in trading. And just keep at it every day. Every day that you can devote 15, 20 minutes, an hour, whatever you can devote, you're going to learn and you're gonna get better, and that's what it's about. It's about improving your life for the better because no matter what your dreams or your goals are, you have to take action today to make that happen. And there's nobody else that can make you do it except for yourself. You can have a good support system of your friends and your family, but you need to take the action yourself. So getting into my watch list for the week, this past week, actually, it's the second week where I shot out my morning watch list emails. And let me tell you, every single day, there's stocks on it that are performing. Now, not all 10 of them will perform, but you don't need to have 10 trades to go ahead and grow your account. You just need one or two that are going to grow that account. Now, I don't focus just on penny stocks. I do focus on the stocks that are in action for that day. A lot of people say, oh, well, I'll, I'll play this stock. But play psychologically means that you're not being serious about it. You wanna trade it and you wanna be serious. So I try to always say, I'm trading this stock today instead of, oh, I played that stock. 
it doesn't make sense. You're not playing. It, it's real money. You have to trade with the mindset that this could be capital that you're losing. And that's why you have to have an entry and an exit strategy before you get in. So with my watch list, also the one I do every week, as well as the one I do every morning, I have my support line, which is at the bottom, and the resistance, which is more at the top. Now the support, obviously, if that's broken, I believe it will continue down. However, if it goes to that support level and it tests it and it comes back up, that's a great entry for a long because you have minimal loss potential because if it goes below, okay, you can cut it, cut the loser. You can always get in lower if that's a scenario. Um, I had CELG, cell gene, which if you look at the chart, I have two charts here. So I've got a one year chart or just over one year chart where you're gonna see basically, it, it was at 135 and then it pulled down to 121 for a couple of days, then it had earnings and it pulled all the way back down to 100, down to 94.52. And if you're looking at it, you can see that's a multi-point resistance, a multi-point support level right there. So in my opinion, I believe going into this week and in the next couple months that this is going to be a longer term long because you have this support level. Now, obviously, if it breaks down below that, you'll see on the second chart here, if it breaks down below that, the, the support levels that I have, it could continue down further. So you just have to be extra cautious, but it's down $40 in the past week, which is way oversold. Yes, they pulled back on one of their drugs. However, they do have m many other drugs in their pipeline and earnings happened at the same time. So it was just an overreaction in my opinion it's oversold on the daily chart, oversold on the weekly chart, and there's definitely value to this stock in my opinion. So therefore, I'm looking at this as a longer term swing for a long term holding. Now, if we go into, we'll start with the watch list, and when you see that resistance levels as well, when you see that they might be tested, that could also be a great short entry because you know that if it doesn't break and it fails, then it's going to drop, it's going to pull down. And typically you will see that stocks will drop three times faster than they will move up, except for in low foot scenarios. So getting into the watch list for the week, I'm not a professionally licensed financial advisor, so all of these are my opinion, and please make sure that you do trade with your due diligence. We have MB with a support of 30.02 and a resistance of 34.11. Same thing, this is at a new 52 week high, has 37 million in the float, and it could quickly run up. Uh, so definitely watch it. We also have SPWR. We had FSLR and SPWL, SPWR, two solar panel companies that were thriving on Friday. So SPWR with a support of 699 and a resistance of 718. We have REN, which does look like it's on the upward momentum here, about to break out. So keep it on watch, it's a 19.63 million in the float, and a support level of 29.42, and resistance of 30. We have SM with a support of 18.72, and a resistance level of 19.30. And the reason why you'll see on this chart, I go back five years, is because you do wanna see how far back, what are the, those computers looking at? So you see 1960 is going to be a further resistance that you'd wanna see broken before it's gonna really run out. So, you know, 1872 and 1930 on the short term, and then also 1960 for that longer term movement. IRBT, iRobot with support of 6587 and resistance of 6709. It does look like as well that this could easily squeeze some shorts because it's the first green day it's had from a new 52 week low. We have FARO with a support of 45.54 and a resistance of 47.90. Going into the shorts for the week, EFII. If you received my watch list on Friday, super, super easy short to execute. I had it and it triggered off of my watch list first thing in the morning and dropped a good $2 from my entry point. So for this, I would see if there's a continuation, if it breaks down support below 28.77 and a long potentially if it will break resistance of 30.42. We have MRLN for a support of 22.75 and resistance of 24.27. SMCI with a support of 19.63 and a resistance of 20.75. We have Club with a support of 5.72 and a resistance of 6.16. 
Microsoft is hitting a new all-time high. It did spike up on earnings. However, it did pull back and it was red on the day. So I would see maybe this is going to be a continuation of a fade before it continues upward. So just keep watch. It might cover, uh, you know, it might drop down through that gap a little bit before it continues to surge up with new entries for long holding. We have XNet as well has been up drastically in the past couple days, sort of a parabolic move there. And that one does look like it's had its first red day uh, after a couple green days, so it could quickly drop down. So a support on that one of 785 and resistance of 898. If you do watch my watch list weekly, you'll see that I did mention WBA uh, last week as a potential long-term holding. It, if you were able to get in last week, you did have a nice gain right off the bat as it ran up to 70 right at earnings and now it's pulled back down to new 52 week low. So I wouldn't enter right at the moment if I was going long on this one. I would wait for it to sort of create a bottom and create that movement on the daily chart before entering more into long term. Some others I do have on my long term watch list are TUES, Celgene as well, TRIP, TRIP Advisor, XON, WBA, and RARE. That's it for the week, guys. Car pay profit, seize those profits, and make sure that you trade with proper risk management. Keep your eyes out for details on the Women in Trading seminar for next June 23rd, 2018 at the Hilton Bonnet.